Welcome to this video where we're going to have a look at how we find the temperature of a star. So if we revisit the HR diagram, which is a plot of the luminosity of the star against its surface temperature, we get this interesting plot where different types or classifications of stars can be grouped. So you'd have white dwarfs down at the bottom left, you've got main sequence stars in a diagonal through the middle, and then the giant stars are up towards the top and over to the right. But the x-axis is the surface temperature. So how do we actually get that? Well, the clue is the colour. So bluer stars, or stars that appear blue, are going to be hotter than stars that appear red. So this is our main clue, really. It's the colour of the star. Now, looking at these two images here, so these are some clusters of stars. And you can see there's a whole range of different coloured stars there. And just by looking at that, I can tell you that the bluer stars are going to be hotter than the white and the red stars. But I can't tell you an exact number for that just by looking. So we need to figure out a way of getting an absolute temperature of the, of the star. So the first thing to do is we want the spectrum of that star. So we need to use a spectrometer, which will split the light out coming from the star. And then you can look at the amount or the intensity of light at a particular wavelength. And then you can plot that as a spectrum. Now, different stars are going to have different spectrums. And that can then tell us what the actual temperature is. So if we plot that then, so you're plotting the intensity of light as a function of the wavelength. And you can see that the hotter star, so for example, the green line is the hottest star in this plot. And that has a peak wavelength more over to the left-hand side of the plot, so at smaller wavelengths. Whereas the, the cooler stars, the redder stars, are towards the right-hand side of the plot, so they, have longer, they peak at longer wavelengths. So yeah, so our hotter stars here, they, they peak at smaller wavelengths, cooler stars, larger wavelengths. That's our key thing that we need to know. But we can actually use Wien's law. So this is where we take the peak wavelength. So let's take the, the green one again. It's peaking probably a little bit over 500 nanometers for this particular star. So if we find that, that would basically be our lambda max. So that's our peak wavelength. We then have this constant of proportionality. And then the only thing we have left is the temperature. And we can quite easily rearrange that for T and get the temperature. Now, if we apply that to the sun, so the sun peaks around about 500 nanometers. And using that particular law, we get a temperature of the sun of about 5,778 Kelvin. So it's just under 6,000 Kelvin. And we do that for all the other stars. And that's how we work out this, the surface temperature of stars. So thank you for watching.